Welcome, everybody. Today, I'm talking with Andrew Gatormson, the co-founder of Circle, a platform for creators. Before that, he spent almost five years at Teachable, where he joined as employee number seven, 15-person growth team and marketing as their VP of growth. He has in-depth knowledge of startup growth, SaaS, and creators' needs. Andy, welcome to the Membership Maker Podcast. Thanks for having me. I'm excited. Sure thing. In the last couple of years, I think a lot of brands have realized the importance of building a healthy and but what would you say to entrepreneurs or business owners that are still coming to terms with the idea? Why is it so important for specifically membership business owners to invest in a community? Yeah, well, I think we've seen a really big shift taking place, which is that something changes when you go from this relationship where it's a, a one-to-many relationship with all the people in your audience and sure like you have a maybe some type of membership experience it's maybe it's content focused um but when you start to go from just you being the one delivering the value to letting your members get value from each other it just gives you such an unfair advantage and if you kind of like look around at the most successful membership experiences, those ones, they have like raving fans, but a lot of them, it's because they're connecting with the other folks who are in there. It's not just this one street, like this one way street. Um, so it basically just, it opens up uh, the world of possibilities and the amount of value that you can offer the people in your membership. And, and that's how you kind of differentiate from everybody else. Right, because the alternative, if you don't have a community, is those people can still maybe communicate with each other, but it's you're, it's outside of your control. It's out. It, there's a lot of other things and noise out there. So they could talk on a Facebook group, they could talk on Twitter, um, you know, that kind of thing, which is fine too, right? It's it's still also a good place for people to you know talk about your company and say how great you are and blah blah blah. But you're competing with other things, right? Like uh, all the other things that Facebook is trying to throw at them, all the other tweets that Twitter is showing them, et cetera. So if it's your own community, it's just, it's a different context, right? Yeah, well, what certainly you have more control, but you can offer this really premium polished experience that f it feels premium. And you can guide those interactions rather than just hoping that they happen. Right, because you could like prompt people with topics of the day or different discussions that can, you can kick off. You're, you, you can really kind of shape what you want the community to be talking about. 100%. And there's so many different ways to give value inside of these communities. Uh, one of my favorite ways to kind of like cheat when I'm trying to think through like, okay, like what's the best way to give value in these communities is go look at some of the sales pages of the most successful communities that are out there. And if you go through, like you'll see all the different things they do, right? They might bring in like experts for live Q and A's. Better yet, they might even bring in uh, their own community members to like teach things and share things and uh, have accountability groups and all that kind of stuff, right? And if you go to some of these sales pages, you can see how they communicate, like what the value is. And, uh, and when you're able to offer that versus the membership experience that doesn't, it's just, it's just a whole nother world. And by the way, like the best types of like word of mouth that you get, uh, it comes from those connections that you connect with, that you make with people. Um, it just, it lights the word of mouth fire a little bit. Yeah. And I think retention's another thing for folks out there to think about when it comes to a membership business and a community. Uh, just, you know, anecdotally, I've spoken to a lot of, you know, pretty successful membership people and founders that are using member space or, or even other platforms. Um, and uh, one of the through lines I've seen is that a lot of them have a successful, thriving community. And for a lot of members of those sites, the main reason they stick around a lot of times is for the community. Whatever you're offering, you know, downloads, videos, courses, whatever, whatever, as good as that may be, and I'm sure it's providing a lot of value for some folks the community is really the hook. That's why they stick around. You know, generally the content people are providing 
you can get some version of it somewhere else. It's usually not the 100% unique. You can never get this information anywhere else in the world. That's usually not what it is. But the community does take on a life of its own and is its own little special snowflake. Um, and so I think there is something sort of, you know, I guess special, yeah, is, is the word to use there. It's harder to replicate. Right. Right. You can't just copy and paste a community. You can copy and paste a feature. You can copy and paste a PDF, but you can't copy and paste a community. And by the way, how many of us, when we create a membership experience, like are just swamped? Like you have a content calendar. You always feel like you're on this hamster wheel of having to put out new content and things like that. Well, when you have an actual community, the community can help you create those things. Right. Yeah. hundred percent. All right, Andy, thanks for taking the time to talk with us. We really appreciate it. Would you like to share any resources or recommendations for folks that are trying to learn more about Circle? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, if uh, you ever want to run a community and, and kick the tires and see just what the experience can be like, uh, I recommend you grab a, a trial of Circle and, and play around um, or just say hi on Twitter. It's, by the way, Ward. I, if you try to say my last name, it's A. Gatormson on Twitter. Uh, so we won't, um, you're going to have to search pretty hard to find that. But if you can, it'd be great to connect there. Awesome. All right, Andy, thanks again. Yep, thank you.